Here's a few of our stories for this Tuesday morning here in Alaska. A Juno man was shot over the weekend, not once, not twice, but three times by an alleged friend of his. Actually, it was the 21-year-old who did the shooting. The 32-year-old man was ended up being medevac to Anchorage. The two of them had been in some sort of altercation, and when the 32-year-old went to get a gun, the 21-year-old grabbed one first and shot the 32-year-old three times. Alcohol apparently was a factor. Obviously, we need to repeat the rule, alcohol and gunpowder do not mix. There was a, a reported gas leak in downtown Anchorage on Monday. However, when NSTAR got there and they began to investigate, they found out that it was actually a carbon monoxide problem. And not so much a leak as it was just of the fact that somebody had blocked a vent and so an appliance was producing too much CO and people were feeling sick from it. And they just want to remind everybody to make sure that your vents are clear and especially around areas where there are appliances running. Donald Trump slammed the F-35 program in a tweet on Monday, saying that there's going to be a lot of places to find to save money in the military, and he did target specifically the F-35 program for cost overruns. This is something that the Alaska delegation has worked relentlessly at trying to secure more political funding for this F-35 program, which is still not yet approved by Congress. Oil has hit its highest point since mid-2015 as global producers have agreed to make the cut in production, which is good news for Alaska coffers. And once again, people are still looking at what is going to mean long-term. There was a person injured in a house fire in South Anchorage, and it looks like they did respond very quickly. They got everybody out of the structure, and it's not clear if the person injured was a resident or a bystander. The Alaska Republican Party has officially cut ties with three of its members who have sided with the Democrats in creating a new majority, uh, basically the first time in 20 years that there has not been a solid Republican-led majority in the House of Representatives in Alaska. And so the Republicans have said, we don't care that you want to work for Alaska, regardless of party lines. If you're not going to be a Republican, we're not going to support you at all. The Anchorage police are investigating the death of a woman. Her family called in. They went to the house, found her dead. They have not said if there's anything suspicious at this point, then they're going to wait for the results of the autopsy. should be sometime next week before we know what happened there. The Klingit and Haida tribes that went down to protest along with the North Dakota tribes against the pipeline, they've weighed in. And KIMY Radio carries some audio that you can listen to if you'd like to actually hear the interview. Ketchikan High School has been cleared in the Title IX investigation. If you may recall, there was a complaint made about the fact that girls got fewer opportunities than boys in sports to participate in sporting events, and so they filed the complaint saying you're discriminating, which of course is prohibited by any educational institution that takes federal money. The investigation came back and said, look, they've got equal access, they've got equal facilities. The issue here is not one of discrimination, it's one of there not being enough people participating. In terms of zinc prices, the highest level in decades. And however, zinc producers are not really excited about the surging prices just yet. They're going to wait and see if it's a kind of a long-term thing or just a bump. Because of the weather problems down by Lake Clark, the National Park Service has officially suspended the search for the wreckage or for the bodies of the five people believed to be dead. At this point, they are saying that the wreckage is likely at the bottom of Lake Clark. As temperatures continue to warm in the Arctic, oil industry has adapted, and now they've actually been able to extend the ice road building season and start it earlier than ever, which is kind of counterintuitive. You can read about that at ADN.com. One of those Anchorage bank robberies last week apparently was committed by two teenagers, a 16-year-old who's been charged an adult and a 15-year-old accomplice. The elders of the Chalista Corporation are going to be receiving money this year, part of the Elder Benefit Program. And with a bevy of races this month and next, Alaska Doug Mushers are gearing up for the Iditarod and other big races like the Yukon Quest. David Grunwald's parents have officially asked for the return of the death penalty. Appearing in an interview, they talked about how unconscionable their son's murder is and believe that we ought to bring back the death penalty. Alaska hasn't had that since statehood, 1959. The Fire Department in Juneau has asked residents to adopt a hydrant to go out and make sure that it is clear of snow and ice for three feet all the way around. Big changes might be coming to a popular Northern Light Center mall in Anchorage. You know where REI is. They're talking about changing one of the key stores there. You can read about that at ADN today. And 
just a reminder that you can help put a freeze on all of these winter fires by making yourself safe. There are some pointers at KTUU today about some basic fire-aware situational stuff to make sure that you don't have any too many things plugged into one outlet, to make sure that you're not making yourself a, a fire hazard. Uh, it, it's common sense kind of stuff, but sometimes when it's so cold outside, people don't think about fire hazard like they ought to. And lastly, there's a story about when Alaska backcountry meals go horribly wrong, including some really stum, stomach churning. Uh, well, I'm, I'll just give you an example. One of them talks about somebody's very, very hungry. It's dark. They come into the cabin. They open up the peanut butter, or they think it's peanut butter. They smell it, unscrew it, taste it. Yeah, it's peanut butter. They just keep eating. It gets a little crunchy. That's kind of weird, but they keep eating. Uh, and then they don't feel so good in the morning. They look and they find that uh, the peanut butter had been chewed through by a mouse, and it was the crunchy remains of the mouse that they were eating. Yeah. Use a flashlight or light a fire. Speaking of lighting a fire, that's going to be my topic today on my Alaskan commentary. Just some basic things that I have learned in 22 years of being here in Alaska about how to start a fire foolproof every single time. You'll hear about that. And make sure you become a supporter in a number of different ways. You can do that, of course. You can be a direct subscriber or you can be a, one of my patrons at Patreon. You'll see the link there. And tell all your friends, this is RadioFreeSpeech.com. Coming soon, we'll have an opportunity for, for you to participate as I do have the phone and I got my adapter. It's just a matter now of getting it all hooked up and getting the phone line put in. So hopefully by next week, we'll have some call-ins as well. AlaskaFreeSpeech.com. Tell your friends.